Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. Today, we're gonna form Voltron. So let's get into it. trouble standing this guy right now but didn't have trouble with him before there we go <clears throat> so as you guys can see he is a very tall figure and he's standing kind of lopsided right now Let's see if I can fix that at all I did not have this much problem getting him situated before guys all right, so the head can go up and down. No side to side articulation. Arms can go straight out, all the way around. <clears throat> Not a problem. Now here's where it gets tricky. He does have elbow joints, but you gotta move the thighs. Make sure it's out of the way in order to get full elbow articulation. Okay. And that's with both arms. Uh, legs go out to there, go back to there. They can go out. You got a double knee joint right there. Not bad. Um, <clears throat> do you have some ankle tilt because of the lion's heads? Uh, the wings. You can pose the wings however you feel, see fit. Um, I kind of liked how Caveman Reviews uh, put his the wings on his Voltron. It really looks a lot like the 80s version that way. So that's the way I've got it. But you can do them other ways. You can bring them out. They collapse. <clears throat> Spin them around, have them like that, have them up, like that. That kind of looks like the uh, <clears throat> 80s version too. Uh, like that, just a little bit longer. Let's see, there we go. But I don't really care for that, that makes them look like a Y. <laughs> Uh, you can bring them down. You can fold them back. And they do pop off. I just wish they would have made, Playmates would have made it to where you could form his shield out of the wings, like in the uh, series. You know? I think that would have been pretty cool. And he does get the blazing sword. I'll come. I'll come around there here in a minute and check and make sure this is in frame. Yeah. So there you have the legendary Voltron, and we'll compare him to Ultimate Voltron. Right there, he is quite a bit bigger than Ultimate Voltron. Um, a full head, uh, head size taller. Uh, the wings are a little bit taller. Um, and just for a little bit of fun, we'll go ahead and compare him to the uh, basic 
Voltron figure from Playmates Toys, and he just towers over the basic figure. <coughs> Very nice figure. Like I said, I do plan on getting the uh, stickers uh, from ToyHacks.com. That'll make all the gray look silver. Uh, you can get the cross that goes in the middle of the chest. Uh, all the numbers that used to go on the lines as well. Uh, the forehead, the blue forehead sticker. Um, and they just have all these stickers that really make them stand out. You can uh, either keep them looking like this with the uh, stickers only brighter. Or you can make them look a lot like the 80s Voltron design. I also plan on purchasing the uh, original Blazing Sword. Uh, the uh, die cast version from the 80s. Because uh, I do like that Blazing Sword a lot better. And I'll replace this one with that. Uh, and then I'll have two Voltrons. You know, one will have the uh, new Blazing Sword. The other will have the original Blazing Sword. And of course, the basic figure is my son Dukes. Uh, he now currently has all the lions as well. The only uh, robot he's or the only figure he's missing is the other Voltron, the uh, Kick Attack or the Lion Attack Voltron or whatever it is, and the uh, Row Beast. So he's really gotten into Voltron as well. He loves it almost as much as I do. You know he. It's really nice to be able to share this um, creation from my childhood with my son. You know, he's five years old, getting ready to go into kindergarten right now. And so it, that's about the same time that uh, I was really big into Voltron as well. So that's really cool. So there you have it, guys. The legendary Voltron Combiner from Playmates Toys. Uh, Voltron Season 3 is due out on Netflix in August. Go out, if you haven't done so yet, go out, pick you up each of these Voltron Lions. The uh, arms and legs right now go for about uh, $16. Uh, the body goes for a little, almost $25. Uh, the Ultimate Voltron uh, is goes for about $40. And then the Basic Voltron goes for $10. So not bad. Uh, definitely a lot cheaper than some of the older Voltrons you can get online that are range into the hundreds of dollars. And this one looks a lot better. It will look even more amazing than when we get the Toy Hack stickers for it. Um, so yeah, there you have it guys. Take care and uh, continue watching Comageddon TV for all things geek culture.